By now you guys have probably noticed the changes that have been happening with RBT. I'm still going to support the site in any way I can, it's just that I feel like RBT is going to need a miracle to get back on its feet. So now, without further ado, let's get to a figure art review that I've been teasing for a very long time. So I guess... It's reviewing time! What up, tubers? Zeltrax and Lenny and back with a brand new video review. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello, YouTubers! This is Zeltrax Millennium back with another episode of Zeltrax Reviews of the Millennium. This time we're taking a look at a very cool figure art from way back in the day. SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Black from Kamen Rider Black. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really cool figure art and I really got to give credit to where credit is due to my friend Dancing Otaku because he's the one who sold this figure to me. Thank you very much, sir. I'm also looking into getting the figure arts for Kamen Rider Black RX and Shadow Moon. I can find Black RX easy on Mandarake, but for Shadow Moon, I'm going to have to go into Yahoo Japan auctions because I've looked through all the different stores of Mandarake, and Mandarake does not have Shadow Moon. Go figure, huh? So yeah. Let's take a look at the box for Black, because it's, well, required. Same kind of regular packaging for the old figure art. You got a nice picture of the suit for Kamen Rider Black right here. Very nice classic suit. The Kamen Rider Black logo right there. Right there in Katakana. Masked Rider Black. They're still using Masked Rider. I don't know why, because it's usually Common Rider nowadays, but oh well. Side of the box shows Black doing the walking pose that he did during his opening credits. Posing and such like that. Now let's get into Black's accessory count. Because this guy has fairly few accessories, but at least it's a lot better than... <coughs> that guy. Yeah. So let's take a look. First off, much like Agito Ground Form, he comes with Rage Hands, Chop Hands, and a hand for his signature pose, or if you want to emulate a pose from Kakashi from Naruto. Despite being a very, very old suit, coming out of Black's design is very easy to figure out, especially on a figure scale. You see the red and yellow lines that are actually sculpted in, then painted. Very nice, very nice. I also like the yellow striping around his collar. The red bits on his chest. And that black symbol is actually tampoed on. And I've actually heard of some cases where it can actually be scratched off. So be careful on that. The Kingstone belt. Very nice, though I think it's missing a tiny bit of paint. But oh well. It also has got some very nice organic looking details, if I can... There we go. You can actually see some of the um, molded detail in the gut area right there, which is actually accurate to the suit on the picture there. And also in the thigh area, too. So yeah, Black's detailing is not that bad. His eyes look very nice. I love the compound effect. And there is a little bit of a nick right there. Dancing on top, said that was there when he got it. So, yeah. Nice legs. Very simple. Very basic. But I like it. Now let's get into Black's articulation. Now his articulation is more or less accurate to figure arts today. He's got shoulders so he can do a full... Uchukita! Sorry. He's got full range of motion there. Swivel at the top of the elbow, double jointed elbows, quadruple jointed wrists, though on mine they're a bit loose when you pop a hand on. Oh well. He's got multiple ab crunch joints, so you can do a full this. I think, yeah, it's a little loose, but oh well. Nothing too terrible. He's also got ball joints at the bottom of the neck and the top of the neck, so he can do a full range of exorcist poses, like this. There we go. I'm going to have to fix that later. Oh well. He's also got the Type 1 figure arts tips. What do I mean by Type 1? Well, I'm going to have to bring in another guy with the Type 2 hips. 
Excuse me, hold on one second. Gotcha. Change card. Pencil. Yosei Knight is a pure example of the Type 2 hips. It has a... It has a ball joint in the... Whoops, sorry. He has a really good joint system in the crotch area, sorry, where you can actually swing the stem of the ball joint down so that way you can get into various kick poses and such like that. This is what the figure arts hips have been kind of been doing the last few times now that I've gotten figure arts, like Ghost of Night here, Complete Onk, a lot of the Aeos figure arts. They really haven't been using the Type 1 hips a whole lot because I think the Type 2 hips are just a bit more reliable or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, Ghost of Night, prime example of the Type 2 hips. A lot, a lot of the uh, early Commander releases have been very useful of the Type 2 hips. So yeah. Also on Commander Black, his coloring is very nicely detailed, though it's kind of like a mix in between shiny and fl matte. You see his chest armor right here, that's shiny black plastic. Whereas the legs are flat, and they feel a little bit weird to the touch. It's kind of weird to explain. And also his joints are also nicely colored. Though on some figure arts it's not accurately colored, like, oh, I don't know, the Go Buster figure arts? I'm looking at you black elbows, gah. And also the Combinator Double figure arts had the same problem too, so yeah. But yeah, Black's detailing and posing, He's actually pretty good. Now, would I recommend that you pick this up? I'd say yes. If you look him up on Mandaraki, he is very cheap. But I still believe that this figure art is worth your money. Now, trying to get all of the figure arts from Common Rider Black and Black RX, that will be a bit of a tricky venture because, like I said before, Shadow Moon and Black RX are a little bit hard to come by, as they were pretty awesome characters. But I still believe that you should check this out. You will not regret it. So check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Millennium. Check me out on Twitter at Zeltrex Millennium. Check out the Hengencast website at hengencast.wordpress.com. And yeah, that's about it. Zeltrex Millennium saying good night and good luck. Laters. Mm -hmm.